Yes. Tuning in from bed. <laughs> so I guess that's the way to do it. Uh, thanks for joining me for Coffee Talk this morning. As, as, as you know, there's really no agenda. I have a few things that I want to talk about this morning. As I, I also wake up. Mm. And um, one of the things that I want to talk about is this thing right here. Um, this is a... Um, I want to prevent people from buying one. I paid 300 Let me show you. This is a KVM. So if you're just on the podcast, you can see it's a StarTech KVM switch. Uh, it's got two ports and um, it's got a, a number of things on the back. It's very sturdy and everything. Um, but it also burned out yesterday. So it worked for me for one year. And... I paid, I'm, I'm so embarrassed to say it, but I paid something like, uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, I was just searching for the other one. I paid like $330 for that thing. Um, is it has a three-year warranty? Does it have a three-year warranty? Oh, that's it's nice to know. I've been actually looking for other KVMs. Um, I think I am going to call him. I think that's probably the way to do it because I, I mean, I paid a crazy amount of money for this thing and, and it's, you know, it's completely useless. The, the reason I picked it though is because it has the ability. Yeah. I think I'm going to go contact car tech. That's probably a good idea, Matt. Um, the reason I picked it is because it has the ability to, switch back and forth from your keyboard. So you double tap control and then you press one and you double tap control and you press two and it'll go back and forth between the two. Um, it does have, it does have um, support for monitors. And so something that I don't like about the monitor switching on a KVM, this is something I did not realize when I bought it. Otherwise I probably would have never bought it. This is, I already have, I've kind of invested in it. Um, is that it, it, it's not what you think. So even though it will switch back and forth between a 4k monitor, you really don't want that because here, let me tell you why. So like when you have my work laptop connected to my 4k monitor here, and when I switch back and forth between it, what it does is it actually cuts the signal. Uh, it's not like, it's not like if you have four ports on your, which is now what I, which is what I started doing. It's like when you have four or two or three ports are on your monitor and you can switch back and forth. Um, that works much easier because you don't have to deal with uh, your computer thinking that you don't have a monitor and having it freak out. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, it's the same. It's equivalent of saying you say you have two monitors at your laptop and you got this extra monitor, right? And every time you do the KVM switch, whether you by hand or through the keyboard, it will essentially unplug that monitor from the computer. And you don't want that because what happens is your computer freaks out. Good morning. Your computer freaks out and it says, oh no, I don't have another monitor. And it like redoes everything. And if you had a, if you had a terminal running, so in my case, I use my big screen from all my coding between sessions, right? Well, if when I had the monitors plugged into it, every time I w if I was using the KVM switch, which I'm not for that part, for the video part, the the V, it's just a well. Let's see, KVM. What does it stand for anyway? Keyboard, something and mouse. Keyboard, video and mouse, right? So it would just be a KM switch at that point, which is really all you need, because if you have the because you switch between the video. Yeah, it loses its head and it's like, I don't know what to do. And it freaks out and it, it resizes your terminal and it throws all your windows that were on the monitor like into the middle of nowhere in the middle of your like laptop. And so when you're like, especially like with me when I'm streaming, like I want to go, sometimes I want to go back and forth really quickly between my personal PC and the other, and then my work PC. Because there's a lot of stuff on my pers personal PC that I don't want saved on my work PC and vice versa. And for that, it's really great, right? Because I can go do Zettelcast and searches and, and, um, you know, write stuff in my personal PC without having a copy of it 
you know, on my on my machine and, and and other things like that. Like if I'm, for example, if I'm streaming, you know, I can go back and forth without there being any physical connection whatsoever uh, if, with my work computer to, to, to anything that touches the stream, and uh, which I think is the right way to do it. So, but yeah, so the, the V part of the KVM is not required. That's what I'm getting at. So if you, if you can, um, so, so actually, I mean, let me minimize the screen a little bit here. I'm going to go shopping um, because I've been, I've been looking for, uh, a KVM switch that does not do that. Now there's things like this. There's these USB switches that will, you know, between two things, it'll switch all of your USB devices. And that's really all you need. That's really all you need. The problem is with this one is that I have to push the button every time. They're also much cheaper. So the KVM switch I paid for again is $350 and you know, four port USB three switcher with a button on it is $30. So I guess that's going to be the main message today is save yourself a load of money. Don't be me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to send this in, but so now that for me, the quest is, and maybe you can help me here to this morning with drink coffee talk is to find is to find a USB switcher like this that actually takes input from the keyboard the same way the StarTech does. I know it doesn't seem like much, but that little that little distance up to the button. I mean, you got to understand. I switch back and forth between monitors, probably. You know, during when I'm going to get really busy. Um, what what I use does a great job. What do you have? What do other people use? Because I noticed that when, uh, yeah, a KVM. We we just talked about the KVM. That's that's what we're talking about. We're talking about how my KVM. KVM does the job. The problem is, is that the KVM I have burned out. It costs three hundred fifty dollars, and you don't need the V in it because you don't want to switch monitors. By the way, this is how I switch monitors. When I switch monitors, um, I oh, you use this one, Tech Two. This one, this uh, the Swillow one. So I have given in, and I was actually kind of disappointed when I probably should have returned my KVM a long time ago when I realized this, but I have been using my, my monitor, my monitor buttons. I've gotten good at switching between screens with my monitor buttons on my main screen here because, uh, uh you stuck, you stuck mine below my desk. So right next to you. Yeah. And, but do you, but don't you have to touch it tech to? So what I'm looking for is a switch that it says switch type push button switch, right? I want to find a switch that actually reads keyboard input. And I think that that's going to be hard to find because these are all generic USB things. They don't care what devices are attached. Uh, you have a keyboard that can hook up three different devices, USB. And do you, how do you, well, that's more of a keyboard selection, right? I know that a lot of people have like physical keyboard switches, but then you have to push that too. Does it have a, does Ritterhouse, does that have, does your keyboard have a, does your keyboard have a special comp key combo that helps you switch so you don't have to leave the keyboard? Uh, yeah, I would go nuts with that. So if unless I can switch using something on the keyboard, I mean, the whole point of using VI and stuff is to not have your hands leave the keyboard, right? Well, if I'm switching back and forth between, you know, machines, um, I, I really want to do that. I really, I really want to. And I feel like I want to have a have an external switch from my keyboard to do it too, because I, the the thing I really do like about this is it will actually take two devices, so. I have my gaming keyboard and my work keyboard both attached to it. And I just swap off the keyboards out when I want a game. And then I can have both keyboards if I wanted to. I can have both keyboards work either for either system. Uh, may I click the wrong stream. God bless you all. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, we're, we're just, we're just, this is just morning coffee talk. Welcome to coffee talk. We're just having coffee talk, you know. Trying to get ready for the day. Um, so, you know, talking about boring stuff like KVM switches. Um, yeah, StarTech does make one, but I, I don't know what to search for. Um, I think if we search for, I, I mean, I don't, Star, what is it, Star? 
StarTech KM. I do think they do have one. You have a mouse of three devices, but then you have to switch back and forth between them, right? Hmm. Uh, Logitech has gotten that down. Oh, we'll have to take a look at that. I mean, I do like Logitech, but uh, here we go. What is this about? So, a dual HDMI adapter? No, we don't want that. Uh, I don't know how often or how fast you want to switch. I switch. I switch between systems about once every five ten minutes. Yeah, it's very slow compared to KVM. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Uh, ended up going with a super wide monitor and then have both machines on the screen. Yeah, that, no, I would never do that. That's a completely, completely unproductive. I, I, I find that proposition, uh, not going to be something that would work. I, people with their ultra wides, I look at them and I just shake my head. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, that's completely ineffective. Um, I mean, you can have it up all the time. I mean, yeah, sure. That's one of the possibilities is you have the screen on all the time, right? But, and you have a, a different monitor and I, I don't, I don't, I don't like that idea because, because, well, first of all, I, I don't, I, I want to look straight ahead. So ergonomically, I don't like going like this all the time. I've, I've done that before and I already have that problem with the laptop because the laptop is over here. It serves as a different monitor, right? I, that's why I have my laptop right next to my four monitor setup. And and I am a huge fan of four, you know, 20 inch monitors, uh, as opposed to one big ass monitor. I, I think that's horrible. A yeah. So, because I just, it's just, first of all, you have to move the thing when it breaks, you're screwed. Uh, when you have four, I mean, it's the, it's the IT guy in me, the redundant IT guy in me. Um, oh yeah, that's one I've heard of. Uh, Bob, I think that's a good one. Let's go look. Welcome, Bob. So, uh, use a single keyboard and mouse between multiple computers. And by Synergy, combine your computers, Synergy, increase desk space. Yes. Um, so, one of the reasons, let me finish that thought on the monitor thing. So, I truly, I would rather have multiple monitors so that if one monitor goes bad, so for example, one of my monitors the switch on it is getting hokey and I have to like unplug it and plug it back in. It, it actually freezes up. It's, it's firmware actually crashes uh, if I leave it on too long. And so then I have to reset it. And, you know, I would be, if, if that, if that were a big monitor that I'd paid several thousands of dollars for, I mean, these, these are not cheap monitors. The ones I have here, they're 4k and even at 16, you know, even this, even at 20 4k monitors is not cheap these days. Um, but still, uh, to game on, what's that? Your, your super wide, the other problem with super wide monitors, and I'm just sharing my experience, but is that when you get, take screenshots or you do screen sharing or any of that stuff, you get screwed up. Now I know that some of the super wides and the, the, the big ones, um, let you divide up your screen and everything, uh, so that they technically are different monitors at the hardware level. Mm. TTL is set too low from China. What does that mean? What is the TTL? Your time to live, my the text to speech, or my TTL, time to live. Hi, I don't know. Uh, there are software coils called AquaSnap. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. Giving people large monitors at work, I guess they like them. I'm not a fan. Uh, the monitor then becomes a KVM. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I can see that being a thing. I'm not, I'm not interested in that. I, I'm just, I just don't like it because of the, the lack of redundancy. I think investing, I, I would seriously, I would rather have a, a minimal amount of space between them. And I don't have very much actually I need to raise this up a little bit, but I don't have very much, um, waste of real estate. Also, I can create my own arc. So if you have four monitors, you know, you can, you can rotate them. You can put them, put them where you want and you can have them be at different resolutions. And, and those are things that some of the more advanced monitors do have, but, but I just would not do it. Uh, yeah, I, 
it, it failed. It totally failed. I mean, it's either that or there's something wrong with the cable or there's something wrong with with the machine. I mean, it it could be that the USB. I mean, maybe that's one of the reasons I'm having those those pro those other problems because I was rebooting quite a bit yesterday. I, I wonder if somehow I've burned out my uh, my USB controller on the back of the computer. You know, I you know what I haven't tried is I haven't I haven't connected it to the front to another USB port. I should probably try that. But you have to have that special cable and everything. I'll, I'll do that. And I'll try that. Yeah, I was super surprised that the Star Trek failed. Um, but I let's see. Listens for input. Synergy listens to an operating system for mouse movements and keystrokes, so that it can tell when you move the mouse off the edge of your screen. Once it detects a human input device event, it gets ready to send over the network. Okay, so this this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this kind of thing. Um, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah. Is that millions of developers? Let's go search for Synergy in Amazon. Barrier is an open source option, I believe. What is that? You put that on a Raspberry Pi or something? How would you even do that? I don't even know what that is. Okay, so we do, okay. Let's do Synergy. I've heard of Synergy before. You install it on Linux. How does it help you switch? I don't get it. Synergy keyword. You're looking at Synergy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Synergy is a hardware device, is it not? I don't want to switch the video. That's the whole point. The, paying the extra two hundred and fifty, three hundred and fifty dollars for the for the ability to switch video is a huge mistake, in my opinion. Because you don't want to un essentially unplug your your video from each computer when you switch, which is what they do. You want to maintain a connection that maintains the resolution in your your display organization, and and the extra money is wasted to have the V and the KVM. So we, we covered that already, but uh, it's all software network based. What? That doesn't make any sense. You're telling me that there is a software that switches between the two? I don't believe that. I don't... Okay, I'm going to watch the video. I'm going to watch the video. Is this going to get me in trouble? Let's watch the video. I'm going to get... I'm going to get muted content. Meet Bob. His work is all about multitasking with many different... Uh, all right, if I'm going to watch this video for one minute, I need to go get more coffee. I'll be right back. Here we go. Let's go ahead and play this. Computers and operating systems. Actually, Bob uses four computers to do his work. A Windows PC, a Mac, a Linux machine, wait, wait, wait. and a Raspberry Pi. Did they say his Sounds name like was he Bob? Has a lot going on. But wait, there's something special happening here. Bob may have four computers with four screens, but he uses only one mouse and one keyboard that controls all of his computers. Huh. You're probably asking yourself, what kind of magic is Bob using? I do well, want to know Bob what this no magic magician. is. He simply uses Synergy, software that's easy to download and configure. Synergy allows Bob to use his computers together in one cohesive experience. And it's not just about sharing your mouse and keyboard. Is it just put is it you just SSH tunneling between computers too? Thanks to Synergy, Bob is the most <laughs> efficient multitasker at his company. So what are you waiting for? Well, look at download all the different Synergy people. today and work more <laughs> seamlessly. Uh, it's a remote thing. Yeah, you like. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. How am I gonna game using that? I mean, let's be real. When I game, I want to plug my gaming keyboard in. So let's think about this. 
You saw, you saw Linus use it? Or you saw Linus does tech or Linus Torvalds? <laughs> From LCT, okay. You saw him use it, huh? Hmm, well, he's pretty picky in his technology, so that's, that's, a, good, that's a good point. Good point to make there. Uh, by Synergy, by now. Okay, so they're trying to sell surprise. I have nothing to do with them, obviously. I am pretty people who think I'm an affiliate or something. Um, holy crap. Um, copy and paste between up to three computers. Lifetime download access. Uh, world's most used keyboard and mouse sharing application. Synergy business, strong TLS. Can you imagine having somebody hijack your network keyboard traffic? Holy cow, that gives me something I want to attack. We have to like analyze this and see if we can attack. If you're not using the organizational one, we want to see if, if you're using the personal one, I want to see if it's, it basically just put a key, key log around the network for everything you type. We have to, we almost have to buy the $20, the $30 version one and hack it. <laughs> because if somebody's using that in like your home office, or in some other office, you said so. There is a free one. Okay, well that's now I understand the, free, yeah, Rittenhouse. You you were suggesting the free one earlier, and I I was like, what? Yeah, free software? It's a hardware thing, and now I realize it's not a hardware thing at all. Forked from Synergy Core. Oh wow, look check out. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about the wires? Yeah, I saw those Hack Vibes products. I think hack vice products are those the wires that you just you, cook, you plug them in and they they own you. Yeah, they sold out. I, have, I saw that in my Twitter feed. That De Defcon they sold out. Uh, it was a long time ago. Or as a, as as free long ago, and then everybody wanted it so bad they're like, we're gonna start charging. Yeah, like it's pretty much every FOSS project. That's what, exactly what um, KDE did. Remember that? Do you remember when KDE was free? And then do you remember when they offered it free to the KDE project? And then do you remember when they took that away and they said, no, we're not free at all anymore. <laughs> a new dark song for player layer. Yes, yes, yes. I've been like adding a lot of them. Thank you for your dark song suggestions. Um, yeah, I have so much work to do today. So we're going to end here on time. Uh, I don't know if we will even always go for the full hour, but, but you know, it's kind of nice as long as I can, Kind of ease into work day. A dark song. It's 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 devil's playlist stuff. <laughs> uh, devil's playlist. I I have a if you ever. We're all in piano and coffee mood right now, so I don't want to. I know you. Some of you are like it's your evening time. You're you're wanting to party and everything, and I'm like, chill with my coffee here. It's for people who work in the dark. Yeah, when I work in the dark, we play this like the dark stuff, the dark stuff, the Devil's Playlist. Uh, it's literally called the Devil's Playlist. If if you want to go see it, here's my music. You can go see all the music I played, and then where my Spotify stream is, etc. There's my Spotify if you want to go look up my 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 streams, my stuff. All right, so so okay, so there is a barrier. Is the free version forked from synergy core which apparently runs on it let's go read about this i want to i want to read about this this is hopefully this will be instructional for somebody else it's all written in c that's nice um eliminate the barrier between your machines find releases for windows and mac os your distro probably already has barrier package for it see distro specific packages alternatively we can provide a flat pack or snap Ugh. um You know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? No, we don't. We don't have media on right now, my friend. Sorry. I know heavy drinker always comes in here like during their. I'm I'm assuming it's their nighttime and they're ready to party, man. <laughs> they're queuing up media and like. <laughs> Cheers to you, my friend. I, I'm so sorry. I know it's your evening and you're all in party mode, but I'm not. I I don't get. That's something I cannot do two of. <laughs> so I could do like after dark and then oh it's so I feel so bad I mean yeah because you know because of the time thing we we wanted to do this to maybe I could like turn the lights out and pretend like it's party mode 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's what, what's YT? YouTube? Yeah, song request. Yeah, that's oh, that's not a song request. That's uh, if you do that, it's uh, yeah, it's YT. I could I should probably do an SR as well. I should probably add that command. Wouldn't it be great if I had somebody who could add a command for me without having to do? Uh, no, you look better with light. <laughs> I look better because because it's not all I'm not all grainy, you know. Yeah, and I got to admit, I probably need to uh, make my room fancier. It's cleaner though, isn't it? Isn't my room cleaner? Okay, so for those of you on the podcast, I am now pointing to my vacuumed room. <laughs> it's. I'm just, I'm hiding the laundry. There's like laundry behind me, but oh well. I mean, it's still a mess, I know, but it's still. So, so I've got, there's the rack, by the way. Can you see the rack? Here, I'll turn off the chat for a second on the screen. So here, I, let me just talk about this since we're completely random here. Uh, isn't it green screen? No, 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 no. I used to green, I did a green screen for the first year and it was hell on earth can i make a recommendation to anybody considering streaming do not use a green screen maybe there's some very specific cases where you would need a green screen just don't you you will hate it and i wasted all that money on a really fancy elgato green screen and everything i i would take that back in a heartbeat the first thing about using a green screen is that it has to be you know they're relatively small and 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 it has to be like right behind you and your camera has to line up properly and everything. And people don't get to know who you are. In fact, I, I watch streamers now. This is Coffee Talk, which is random, so I'm allowed. But I watch streamers today and I actually get why green screen is a mistake and why, you know, when I started, I was like, why are all these like huge streamers not using a green screen? In fact, some of them had like ripped green screens in the back, you know, from like years ago that they used to use and they don't use them anymore. And the reason that streamers eventually get off of green screens is because it's first of all it doesn't communicate anything about who you are uh, and people want to know that apparently i mean I, I, look i took my green screen down and started streaming from my camera from a good camera and engagement just went through the roof people started chatting more people started dropping in more it was just people want it uh and being a black box in the chair when i first started watching yeah yeah, and a lot of people, that's what it was. It was like, you know, I had, I mean, when I very, very first started, if you go far back, and there's some YouTube videos of that, um, it, it is fun to do the green screen because you can like, you know, make yourself big or small and do all kinds of like, you know, live editing. Uh, and yeah, so, but but it's not, it's not what people, p human beings want to relate to other human beings. And if you're going to polish a video and your persona is like that, I mean, either be like a virtual streamer, which, you know, there, that's a thing or, you know, do a YouTube video. But even, even the big YouTubers have finally said, no, it's too much of a hassle to be in front of the green screen. So they've like, you know, the Twit TV does this and, you know, network Chuck and everybody who, by the way, I, I, I network Chuck is kind of an interesting guy because I, I really love the content that he does, but I can't watch it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, can you just someone give him a fucking chill pill? The guy, <laughs> it's like, can you please just calm the fuck down? <laughs> I know. And, and then, and then he'll, you know, he gets so excited. And sometimes, sometimes look, I'm not like Chuck, you know, I love any, anybody who produces content at all who goes through the trouble especially that chuck goes through i mean he he spends so much time making fantastic content with like annotations and everything and i'm like you know and if it weren't for chuck i wouldn't have learned about things like this other load balancer the other day uh and um you know i i watched a video of his recently about pf sense and it was really hard i was like fast forwarding through the whole thing i was like okay and I mean, fast forwarding through me is a different thing. You do it for different reasons because I'm too slow. I'm a huge turtle and I'm just talking very, 
very slowly, even with coffee. And he goes, okay, now it's time for more coffee. Okay, now, do you have coffee? Where's the coffee maker? Drop coffee right here. Okay, now it's time for more coffee. <laughs> Is it more skittier? Yeah. Look, I, look I, 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 don't, I don't, you know, in the past, comments such as these have, you know, induced the ire of the community because it sounded like I was being too critical. I, I'm not. I'm just commenting on personality types, and and that's that's a different thing. I'm not, you know, Chuck. If you're watching or any of Chuck's fans, I'm not. I'm not attacking you. I'm super grateful for the content. I just can't watch it. <laughs> okay, I can't watch it. I mean, that's that's different. You know, pause. More coffee. You know, and because I'm a, it's just, I'm a just a different personality type and different strokes for different folks. You know. So why was I even talking about that? This is that's the problem I have is that I, 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 I. I'm, I must be getting crazy because I, I can't even remember what I was talking about, <laughs> but we were, we were just chatting. We were chatting about, um, what were we talking about? I can't even remember. I have to go back and look at the VOD so I can remember, old man can remember green screens. Yes. Thank you. So we were talking about green screens and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so green screens are torture for the streamer because they can't move. You have to be in exactly the same spot. Uh, usually if you have a green screen, you care about what you look like. Look at me. I actually put something besides a t-shirt on today. You know, I put a shirt with a collar on. Oh my God. <laughs> I actually took a shower before I streamed today. <laughs> and, you know, they're thinking about No, I don't think they're thinking about I think th green screens are a tool for a specific person and usage. A shirtless would be even better. I mean, I could do that. It's a little bit early for that, but no, I, I you know, I, I no, just no. <laughs> so, so the, the green screen is, is seriously, you have to sit in front of the thing. You have to get it, it, it right. It's always like the lighting has to be right. You, that's really hard. You have to have the lighting right, which means if you want to just have a, a chill gamer stream in the dark or something like that, you know, you, you can't, you can't, you can't do it. You have to like, you have to have everything always. It's a, okay. So one of the things about streaming that I'll just, uh, I'm obviously just going to go off on this, um, is you won't stream unless it's comfortable. I mean, this whole coffee talk thing, I was like looking at that. That's two hours of streaming a day, guaranteed weekdays in the morning, an hour for coffee talk and at night for an hour. God knows I can talk that much. God knows I can talk two hours a day without missing a beat and find something interesting, hopefully to talk about. That's not the problem. The problem is, is all of the other crap that you have to do uh, to manage your So then here's another thing. When I had a green screen and I was like, oh, Mr. Streamer, like, you know, I was like thinking about it. Shirtless tomorrow. Uh, ooh, careless whisper on the sex. I mean, I have to have a little more alcohol before I do that. Um, so, you know, yesterday, last night during QCA, my wife came in and, you know, gave me a hug. And there was a time where if my wife, because my wife needs random hugs. She just likes random hugs. I like them too. If my wife had come in, this is, this is, let me finish this thought here for anybody who's thinking about streaming. If, if my wife had broken into the door to, to say something to me or the dog had come in, or someone had I'm like, oh my God, you ruined my video. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know what I mean? Hands above the waist, little Rob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Coffee rum. <laughs> you know what? That sounds great. Where's my Baileys? I, I got to buy Baileys next time. Matt, that's a great idea. The only, problem, the only problem with drinking, with morning drinking, with coffee, is that then you want to take a nap earlier. At least I do. You end up like wanting to fall asleep. <laughs> And I, I don't know if I can do that. So, so, so here's the thing. The more you invest in having quality streaming content, the more, uh, oh, that's a great question. We'll, we'll get to that one. The, the more you invest in quality streaming content and all that stuff, the more stress you get. And God knows I am already stressed enough about life. It's caused me to, you know, be less healthy and all kinds of things. And, I don't want more stress. A side effect of the coffee? I mean, I, I would think the coffee would counter the Baileys, but I, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to try that. 
we'll have to we'll do we'll conduct a scientific experiment I'll, I'll start putting a small amount of alcohol in my a small amount I, I don't want to exceed um the total amount of alcohol per day that you would have in like a glass of wine which makes you healthy so people so you so you've heard the scientific study on this right so the people the people who had two glasses or more of wine a day died early the ones that had one glass of wine a day lived longer than everybody including those who didn't drink wine so and this goes for wine it actually goes for drinks it's not just wine so this this study you know we don't know if it's cause or effect or anything there's, there's lots of science on this that says that people who are able to limit themselves to one alcoholic beverage you know a glass of wine equivalent of a glass of wine a day actually live longer and and I, I think it might be because they they stress out they don't stress out as much and speaking of I mean we're talking about green screens and all the things that can stress you out so the moral of the story the TLDR of streaming is that just turn the camera on get a good camera and just turn the camera on nobody gives a crap about the rest they really don't care they don't care and and you should not be like putting your family relationships in jeopardy and stuff like when the dog comes in. I mean, I, I remember when I first started streaming because I was trying to make, I, I mean, I spent hours and hours editing videos. I would go into the video and edit it. And so someone would come in and they would mess me with me up and they, I had to say something wrong or they, somebody would come in and they, Oh no, I have to edit that out. And I went up spending, you know, so right now, you know, it's, it's pushing it. I'll admit right now I'm pushing it by streaming, uh, an hour for coffee talk and an hour for QCA every day. But the only way that I would ever, ever do this is if all I have to click is start recording and stop recording on OBS. That's it. I am not going to edit the videos. If somebody else wants to edit the videos and put in a summary, I mean, I find it annoying that I even have to write a description for YouTube, but you really do have to do that. Otherwise people can't even find the video. So even I can't find the video. So I want to go back and, hey, remember that video at Coffee Talk where we ranted about KVM switches and green screens? Yeah, where is that? And you can't even search YouTube unless you put some sort of description in. So the wine study is flawed because it didn't account for the reasoning behind the non-drinking folks. I, I, I know. That's what I was trying to say about the cause and effect thing. So there's some question about the study, about whether it actually... And there's also lots of studies that say coffee is good for you, but... I don't know. Yeah. My wife is now up. I can hear her. She's, she, she likes that I'm getting up now because that means the coffee's made when she wakes up and she goes out on the patio. She's really happy right now because it's fall and she loves to go sit with the dog and drink coffee out on a kind of a cool porch in the morning, you know, and do the whole like, uh, Folgers, what is it? What is that ad? You guys remember the ad? You know what he remembers is from the seventies. Love, love fall. Yeah, it's just it's just big bean propaganda. It probably is. <laughs> the leaves are starting to change. It's got that nice crisp, you know, Christmas in the air. You can put a little sweater on when you go outside. And I mean, you, before you go outside and you just it's like a swamp, especially in the morning, because you know dew and everything. There was just, it's just a swamp. Nobody wants to go out with our coffee into a swamp. Well, I, I mean, some people probably do, but so yeah, we're getting ready for our trip coming up here. But uh, so barrier, barrier. Let's go back and look at this some more. Um, so yeah, so the, the wrap up on the streamer thing is the the best piece of advice I can give anybody for streaming is just turn the camera on and talk about something interesting and call it a day. You don't have to do any of the rest. You don't, you really don't. And, and some people might look at me and go, well, you're not a big streamer. Not a lot of people have found your channel. Not a lot of people like your community and watch you. And they would be right. <laughs> I'm not even partner yet. Of course I haven't applied, but you know, uh, because I don't care. VTubers, no need to show a face. Yeah. You could totally do a VTuber thing. You know, if for the right type of community, that's not, that's not mine. Um, my wife is German American. Yeah. She's actually, she's a full blown American. Her parents are German. They're immigrants. She does speak German. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she does Did speak German. My wife? Are you coming in here again? We were just oh, talking about random hugs from wives bad. on a stream. It smells better. Is that what you said? Now I can see floor. Holy shit. 
She said it smells better. That means I took a bath, <laughs> a shower. Or is she, they love the random hugs. We were just talking about how putting a green screen and like being all stressed on stream is like going to sap your life away. Absolutely. And you need to be able to have a random like dog invite, you know, and not and not like yell at you for like, oh, you ruined my video and I can't yeah, have a video now. Because then you could just have coffee and it's like, okay, we're going to end early today. And I said, I said, my wife likes it. I get up early because I make the coffee. Did you get enough? Was there enough to get you through? Just was more, enough more to more drink more while you made more? Yeah, pretty much. I, you know, I, I was always debating because sometimes I'll make six cups and then. I usually get up by eight. Well, <laughs> this thing is a regular thing. So yeah, I'll just so make six every time. Six I'll be the automated <laughs> coffee machine for you. The thermos, that's true. That's true. Even at nine. All right. That's true. And then I drink it when I get up. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I know you're going outside. I just told him all about how you like to go outside with the fall. Did you see the dog jump? Because she heard outside. Uh, so it's not random coworkers getting hugs. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's she's awesome. Hey, Code Pill, how are you? Good morning. Uh, we're gonna come. Uh, here's what happens. Okay, it's just so you know. So, uh, and actually, you know, what's, you know, what's interesting is that I, when I put this on the calendar, I mean, I don't. You guys seen my my calendar, right? So when I put Coffee Talk on the calendar, I was like, mm, because, I mean, as Bob will tell you, you can overcommit to streaming time and i've been i know to some people's chagrin hey look wait wait there it is can you see it <laughs> this is true love right here here right here see this right here i don't think you can see it let's see how good my camera is can you see it can you see it what is that You see how it see how it glistens? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just pulled that out of my beard. <laughs> it was in my beard. It was like right here, because she gave me a hug and she like nestled. Do you have no idea how many times I pulled her hair out of different places? <laughs> because she usually does the laundry too. She'll like do the laundry and they're like, wait, what? Where what is this down here and then or over here and sometimes it'd be like in my armpit and <laughs> you know it's funny I actually took a picture of her hair back when it was red she used to dye her hair red believe it or not like a good German and um I I'm the one who convinced her to stop dyeing her hair I said your hair is beautiful the way it is it's actually kind of like an elf you should see it when 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 she walks into the sunlight or the light or something that her gray it just shines it shines like armor it's like silver it just is so beautiful and and she's yeah so i said you should you know just let it go natural normal and she, so she did that so anyway but yeah I, I have a picture from when we were dating i'm like i'm like like so i put a spiral on my on, on my ceiling uh in my ashtanga room which by the way is another reason i've been cleaning up i want to start doing ashtanga again and i know younger people are dying their hair gray what's up with that what's up with that i sound like a stand-up comic they do they dye their hair gray they want that look you know yeah there was there was a, a girl that my my stepson was dating for a while and she dyed her hair exactly I mean, she was in her 20s and she dyed her hair exactly the same color as as dora she was absolutely beautiful you know <laughs> but it was just weird you dyed your coat, your hair once, yeah. Hmm. Negative effects of dyeing because of the dyes itself. Interesting. I'm growing at 33. We won't talk about that. Yeah. Well, I like go the women, so I like that trend. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I like older women too. I mean, I like women. Period. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I mean. That would be silly. I don't want to make it weird, but uh, there was a UK study I saw that claimed that dying hair leads to cancer. It was interesting. So, you know, that's coffee talk right there. You know, some random factoid. 
uh, that, you know, non. That's yeah. That's that's interesting. Interesting. Um, so I'm just making a note to myself to make more coffee tomorrow so that my wife can drink it. She just, yeah, the toxins in the dye. Yeah, you know, my wife is actually an artist, you know, so she's got, she's around paint and sculpture and all that and the glaze and everything. I, and she's a cancer survivor. She lost a kidney to cancer in her 20s. Um, mostly we think because of all of the nitrates. She, because she's German, so her mom fed her like lots and lots and lots and lots of like cold cuts. That's, that's her word. I've never used the word cold cuts before I met my wife. I'd heard it, but I never used it. It was, everything was baloney. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I mean, I was so white bread American. It's like everything was baloney. So when I was a kid, you know, your, your mama make you a baloney sandwich, right? Did you throw a question in there? Oh, great. Yeah, maybe we could, we could, yeah, don't, don't let it go. I don't, because I'm pretty random right now, but I, QCA, I always, yeah. So yeah, I used to call everything baloney. I know to Europeans, it's very silly because, you know, they have, a, you know, a, a, a charcuterie, a charcuterie, and the, the, the Francais, on, on dit charcuterie, you know, uh, that was culturally insensitive. <laughs> Did I say something mean? Oh, Yeah. Yeah, I'm I am 100% random. Yeah, especially during coffee talk. Coffee talk is just is just is just a, an excuse for me to just be random while I'm drinking coffee and get it out of my get it out of my system. And then and then of course it's it doesn't get completely out of my system. So then I walk over to my wife who's having her nice coffee on the on the on the on the, on the you know back porch or whatever. And then I sit down with her and I, we just bop, 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 bop. that's how we know we're soulmates. I hate that word. I really do. I hate the word soulmate, but it is totally accurate because we'll just sit there and talk and I'll like look down. And I'm like, oh, Hey, you know, uh, I have to work <laughs> because, and, and we're, we're also very loud. We're very loud in the morning too. My wife is really loud. Oh my God. She's so loud. I'm loud too. I'm loud too. <sighs> yeah. We talked all about, all kinds of things yesterday. What's that? Uh, yep. So let's go back to, yeah, I mean, I don't need to talk about the streaming thing anymore. I mean, I think, uh, anybody who wants to do this needs to know. You need a lot of doc, doctors, doctor, doctorskaya kalvasa, doctorskaya, eta, eta shto. Looks like Rob had a good evening. Um, well, yeah. But not for the reasons you probably think. I, I am not Googling Dr. Sausage. <laughs> not on stream anyway. No, not while you're watching. It's definitely a risky search term. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's very nutritious. <laughs> there's Google. There's a. I don't trust Google Safe Search. Not on a stream. I mean, I I will Google it. Don't. I mean, don't worry. You worry about that. I'm so curious now. There's like you know, 20 people just went out and Google it right now. <laughs> uh, oh God. I and uh, are we talking about Putin's mobilization? We're going to turn to politics and military things, which, by the way, are not off uh base here i i i talk about everything religion everything so oh wait 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 did you post something about that in discord oh crap are we going to start a big fight here what a great way to end this dream i might have to save that for later uh oh wow wow wow, wow. those are some good 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 questions um i mean i'll try to answer a little bit of them here but then qca is when i when i do that uh yeah so, I know that's just me dodging the question about Putin. Um, honestly, the whole Russia thing, uh, I've I've had to disengage from it and not follow it because I get it gets me so stressed out. Um, and that I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, can can we all answer to? Yeah, I think. I mean, if you answer them in a thread, 
If you answer the questions in a thread, I think it's okay. That's why I kept it so that other people could answer in the Discord. So the answer to the question, can I answer questions in Discord, is yes. But please make it a thread and please be ready for a fight because somebody is going to disagree with you, especially if you ask, your, ask, ask questions politically. Um, and I'm just going to try to ask people to be better than me uh, and not, you know, descend into name calling and that kind of thing. I, that doesn't, you know what, there's something, okay, so I told you yesterday about the whole Jordan, uh, Jordan Peterson, Sam Harris conversation, right? And how impressed I was by the thing, not by necessarily, um, you know, the, the positions of these two. I mean, there's things I could critique about it, um, but more about the civility that they demonstrated towards one another, even under extreme criticism. Uh, and with an audience that was like, um, you know, a mob that was like clapping for everything they agreed with and hooping and hollering and all this stuff, which would normally be disallowed in a proper debate. You wouldn't be able to do that. And, and yet they, they maintain this incredible level of civility while they were talking about it. And I was like, I want that. I want that. And I mean, these are people that radically disagree. I talked about this yesterday, but it keeps coming up and I bring it up because that's what I want for me, it's what I want for our community. Uh, I want us to be able to vehemently disagree, disagree to the point where we would go to war to support our position uh, if it came to it, you know, if officially it came to it, not because you just want to punch the guy because they don't agree with you. But if it officially came, I mean, something that you feel that strongly about, um, I think that would that's kind of a personal goal of mine to be able to, to engage in conversation. Uh, no, after, after dark Rob does not want that. No, no, after dark Rob and morning Rob do not like each other. <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde, Jekyll and Hyde. They do not like each other. No, no, no. Morning Rob is like drinking a smoothie and, you know, and, and, and going to exercise and, you know, putting jazz on and coffee talk and, and get taking hugs from his wife and, you know, no. <laughs> oh, we're going to do fall IRL for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think one of the, now that we have Sunday off, we'll probably actually go hiking to stone mountain to watch all the leaves change and stuff. Yeah. I definitely want to do that. Um, yeah, I see you guys posting some questions there in the chat, which is really cool. Um, and I, I think I'm going to keep with the, uh, tradition of answering questions from the audience during QCA at the end of the day and just just random banter for a coffee talk in the morning trying to trying to keep it um you know whatever light and fluffy and fun which is why I'm dodging the Putin question <laughs> because I don't honestly I don't want to think about it if I if I if I start thinking about the Putin Ukraine situation then I'm not going to be able to work I'm not. Yeah, you know, I, I, honestly, one of the goals for Coffee Talk is to is to get into the mood where we we want to work, right? The whole goal is to. And, and I apologize to our to our European friends who are watching this at night because it's going to mellow them out, and they're they're going to want to put devil music on and jam out and and get you know slightly drunk and say mean things and. I love you, man, and all that shit, you know. Um, it's almost 3 p.m. I was just going to say, yeah, everybody's different, right? Uh, it doesn't exist in the U.S. And I mean, you're at 3 p.m. Wake our brains, coffee talk. I, I think so, yeah. I, I mean, and, and there, look, I guarantee you that there are good people in the chat, and we talked about this yesterday, who probably strongly and radically disagree with me on positions of politics and technology, stuff like that. And so... You know, that's fine. I, I I want to get to the place. And, and we raided Prime again yesterday. Is Prime on again? And he thanked me, actually. And Prime and I have had history. And he, you know, he, he, he seems genuinely sincere in his uh, desire to improve as well as a person and as a streamer and as a community leader, blah, blah, blah. And, and I, you know, I applaud that. I applaud that. So, so that's all. I think Amaranth is, I mean, I would raid Amaranth if she wouldn't think I was trolling her. Uh, people like that. Do you always, uh, 
Why do you always down your channel? I think it's a great channel. I don't think I downed my channel just now. Did I? Did I put down my channel? I, I mean, I'm, I like, I like my channel, but, uh, but I, 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 I mean, it's different. It's different than other people's and that's all. I, I'm not drawing a contrast. I, I, I didn't. Oh, I don't have, I don't have nearly the, the, I, I don't have, no, I, no, I, if I said, if I was putting down my channel, it was largely because of the size of my channel, the whole size thing, right? But, uh, a lot of people love this channel and, and the, I guess, I'm sorry if it came off that way. What, what I was saying is, uh, no, I, I would not, um, what, what I meant and we need to wrap up here, but, but what I was saying is that, um, there there are other channels there's other content out there that gets a lot more eyes on it that's what, and that's not putting it down that's just stating a fact it doesn't mean that it's worse it just means that uh it's different it's just very 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 different you know uh and, and i like it that way i i can actually read your comments god i you know i you know i don't i don't i don't like drawing too much contrast to other streamers because i feel like it it sounds overly critical but I've watched other streamers uh, who have who have to turn on slow mode in their messaging streams. Uh, uh, as well, right here, it, she wouldn't care. She would laugh. That's the thing. My wife and I are really solid. That would just be silly and funny. She would she would laugh. She wouldn't care. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now we wouldn't do. It. Do I ever browse Reddit? No, I got rid of Reddit. I hate it. Uh, Reddit, I, I have occasionally run into Reddit. I, I still, the last time I really was active in Reddit was during the Mr. Robot days. And I posted a lot of Easter eggs in Mr. Robot. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, there is some good content on Reddit, but for the most part, for the most part, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I mean, I, I would rather do like an old school news group. Uh, than Reddit, but I understand people do use Reddit a lot. It's still, I mean, it's a, it's a good resource. Uh, and, you know, Aaron Schwartz, he was one of the primary creators of it. He was a big helper before he left Silicon Valley. So, you know, I, I know that they meant well, but the community over there, yeah. So, more than here on Twitch, but I guess this, uh, I, the staff only care about gambling, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've mentioned that a lot. I the, the, there there are not a lot. Uh, yeah, is Chris on? I saw Chris uh, come on. I think she she popped onto my stage there for like a second. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we could raid Chris. Is Chris up? I don't mind handing off coffee talks to somebody else. That's another reason, by the way, that I don't want to stream for like four hours in the morning. I, I think if we stagger our our coffee streams, we might actually be able to see each other <laughs> we don't have to do it that way but it would be nice so let's do that let's go ahead and raid chris nova if she's on uh and yeah and and uh i think we we can conclude with that i'm gonna go um uh, get started on my day i wish you all the best of days um by the way i've changed how i post to youtube so uh i am following twitch policy very strictly now uh i'm waiting 24 hours which means uh, that you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching it at least tomorrow at 8 a.m. But as far as you know, you don't know what the day is. So if you just want to follow the streams through YouTube, um, you know, or through the podcast eventually, once I can figure out where to put it, you can just, you know, do that. And it will be the same time every day. It will be 8 a.m. every day. And uh, same thing. So if you're waiting for yesterday's QCA, unfortunately, and you're used to it publishing at 9, that will not be published until 9.30 tonight. Uh, while we're making a new one and and then the, so there's a 24 hour staggering period so we'll go ahead and and go with that so see you youtube